In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can list out all the sheets in a workbook. So I've got a workbook here and it's got a lot of sheets. And if I wanted to list them all out in perhaps some sort of index sheet, there's actually no way to do that from the ribbon commands. So you might be tempted to come down here and double click on each sheet and copy and paste it into the workbook. But if you got a lot of sheets, that's going to take a lot of time. In this video, we're going to take a look at two different methods to list out all the sheets in a workbook. So let's take a look at those. So the first method we're going to take a look at is using VBA to list out all the sheets. And to do that, we're going to need the developer tab. So this is not enabled by default. So if you don't see it in your Excel, you can go to anywhere in the ribbon and just right click and go to customize the ribbon. And then you're just going to have to check off the developer tab here. So by default, it's unchecked and you can just check it and press OK. And you should see the developer tab appear in your ribbon. Uh, once you have that, you can open the Visual Basic Editor. And you should see the name of your workbook somewhere in the VBA project window. And you can see also that uh, the, the sheets are listed down here. And if you right click anywhere around there and go to insert, you can insert a module. And this is where we're going to place the code that generates the list of sheet names for us. And I've already got that copied to my clipboard. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And it's a pretty small procedure. Uh, what it does is just loops through all the sheets in the active workbook. And wherever your active cell is, it's going to place the sheet name. Below that, it's going to place the next sheet name. And below that, it's going to place the next sheet name, etc. Now I can close this. And I'm going to get some warnings up here that uh, I don't have a macro enabled workbook, so I won't be able to save that, but I can still actually run it. If I want to save it, I'm going to go to the file tab and go to save as. And from here, I can choose a macro enabled workbook to, to save my workbook. I'm not actually going to do that right now because you can still run this without the macro enabled workbook. You just won't be able to save it. So to run it, we can go to our developer tab and click on this macro button and you'll see the list all sheets procedure that we had copied in. You can run it here. And you can see that that's listed out all the sheets for me nicely from my active cell downwards. The second method we're going to take a look at to list out sheets uses the old XML macro for language. Now this is kind of deprecated, but you can actually still use it in certain situations. So inside a uh, named range, you can use these formulas and that's what we're going to use. So, so to list out the sheets, we can go to the formula tab and go to define name. And here we're going to give this the name sheet names. And here we're going to refer to a formula instead of a reference in the sheet. So I'm just going to paste in the formula that we need. And if I just expand this out, we can see it. So this uses the get workbook macro for formula. And if I press OK and go to my name manager, you can see that I've got this new sheet names uh, reference. And now we can use that in a formula. So what that does is basically create a array of all the sheet names inside that named range sheet names. And I can access individual items in that array using an index function. So first I'm just going to type out an index. So numbers from one to, uh, in this case, 50, because I've got 50 sheets. 
And I'm actually just going to extend that past 50 so we can see what happens past 50. And then I'm going to type out the formula index. And the array I'm going to use is my sheet names that I just created. And I'm going to reference this index from 1 to 50. And if I copy that down, what I get is my sheet names listed out. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see where I don't have a sheet. I get this reference error. So we can just delete those. So in this case, you have to be aware of how many sheets you have. So you can create a larger index than you need and then just delete those reference errors. And then a bonus tip, if you want to create a hyperlink that takes you to each of these sheets, you can use the uh, hyperlink function. So hyperlink, and then we just need to create uh, the link. So inside a double quote, if we use the pound sign. And then if our sheet name has spaces, we're gonna need to use a single quote to wrap the sheet name. And I'm going to combine this with the sheet name listed here. And then my single quote to close the sheet name. And then a reference like A1. And that should create uh, my link to each of those sheets. And then you can type in something here like go to sheet. And this is what you'll see for each of the links. And I can press enter. And if I copy this down, then anytime I click on one of these, so for example, here's Colorado. If I click on that, it's gonna take me to the sheet named Colorado. So that's two methods we can use to list out the sheets in our workbooks. We can either use VBA or we can use something that predates VBA called XML Macro 4 language. It's basically deprecated, but you can still use it. And once we have our sheets listed out, we could also use the hyperlink function to quickly navigate to different sheets. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys next time.